Hey guys, it's Luna here. Today I'm going to show you how to make some grilled mackerel without some fish smell using some rice water and making some seaweed soup to go with that. It's really, really um, traditional Korean dinner um, food, I would say, or it could be lunch or it could be even a breakfast, but this is how I make it. First, we're going to get some um, nice looking mackerel. I found this mackerel at local um, superstore in my hometown here in Canada, Ontario. Um, you can find it anywhere. Make sure your fish has a very, very vivid line on the fish. And when you make the rice, don't throw um, your rice clean water. Instead, using that water, you're going to wash the mackerel clean with it. And then after you clean it, we're going to let them sit on that rinsed rice water to get rid of unpleasant fish smell. So right now, I'm going to discard all the stuff out of the fish okay okay good. wash it really well all the red blood spots will cause the fish smell that you probably don't appreciate and this is seaweed um korean really really love the seaweed this is a dry seaweed you can purchase in any asian store or korean grocery store First, we're going to wash it once or twice to remove all the dirty Sitting stuff off, off of seaweed. Minutes. While we let our mackerel set on rinsed minutes. rice water, water pet dry the fish, salt and pepper onto a grill. Remove all that water that we clean the mackerel with. Then this is a quick marinade. You use any kind of soy sauce you have and just pour right over it. And then we're gonna massage them. This is essentially gives some flavor. And also, even though mackerel comes from sea water, which is salty, um, this way we are um, again getting rid of the fish smell and we are marinating it as well we're gonna give them nice soy sauce massage and we're gonna let it sit there for a bit and if you do have it there I'm adding some peppers and use some um, cooking wine that helps really get rid of the fish smell then you hit up your grill or barbecue make sure your grill is always cleaned truly and also oil it up nicely so that it doesn't stick on your grill this is every time that you use a grill you must do it. Our barbecue is right back on my porch, so I'm on my bare feet, guys. So right now I'm adding my macro right onto barbecue and doing it outside really helps not having all that um, cooking fish smell trapped inside the house. Not being there, it helps. So, well, go back to my seaweed soup. So I'm going to drain my seaweed and get rid of all the water. And your heated pans or pots, you add some sesame oil. Then you grate it, some garlic or chop up garlic. Okay. Add them right into it. Then you stir it. Don't burn it. And dry them. Then add your seaweed right into it, and you're literally toasting them. 
as you are giving the flavor of sesame oil and some garlic right to your sesame I and mean seaweed. Then I'm going to add some soy sauce to season. Then you add some water. And this is a beef stock, uh, beef powder, Korean one. Um, I mean, you can also use beef broth or chicken broth, but I didn't have none of it, so I'm just cheating it my way. But this is guarantee you to make that Korean seaweed soup taste. So don't be afraid to use it. We call it home of, <laughs> the taste of a home. Really is. And there goes my mackerel. Make sure you have a nice char outside cooked all the way through. Whoa, that beat looks so juicy. And voila, delicious.